life, in my own life, in my own small way, I've tried to give back to this country that has given me so much. See, that's why I left a job at a big law firm for a career in public service, working to empower young people to volunteer in their communities, because I believe that each of us, no matter what our age or our background or our walk in life, each of us has something to contribute to the life of this nation. And it's a belief that Barack shares, a belief at the heart of his life's work. See, it's what he did all those years ago in Chicago, setting up job training to get people back to work and after school programs to keep kids safe, working block by block to help people lift up their families. It's what he did in the Illinois Senate, moving people from welfare to jobs, passing tax cuts for hardworking families, and making sure women get equal pay for equal work. It's what he's done in the United States Senate, fighting to ensure that the men and women who serve this country are welcomed home, not just with medals and parades, but with good jobs and benefits and health care, including mental health care. See, that's why Barack's running, to end the war in Iraq responsibly, to build an economy that lifts every family, to make sure health care is available for every American and to make sure that every single child in this nation has a world-class education all the way from preschool to college. That's what Barack will, Obama will do as President of the United States of America. He'll achieve these goals the same way he always has, by bringing us together and reminding us how much we share and how alike we really are. You see, Barack doesn't care where you're from or what your background is or what party, if any, you belong to. See, that's just not how he sees the world. He knows that thread that connects us, our belief in America's promise, our commitment to our children's future. He knows that that thread is strong enough to hold us together as one nation even when we disagree. It was strong enough to bring hope to those neighborhoods in Chicago. It was strong enough to bring hope to the mother he met who was worried about her child in Iraq. Hope to the man who's unemployed and can't afford gas to find a job. Hope to the student working nights to pay for his sister's health care, sleeping just a few hours a day. And it was strong enough to bring hope to people who came out on a cold Iowa night and became the first voices in this chorus for change that has been echoed by millions of Americans from every corner of this nation. Millions of Americans who know that Barack understands their dreams. Millions of Americans who know that Barack will fight for people like them and that Barack will bring, finally, the change that we need.